In this video, we're going to be talking about the layers panel over here, as well as what, what do some of the icons mean. Well, uh, to, to put it simply, you know, I don't know if you've worked with Photoshop or anything like that, uh, but you can always picture uh, what is on top will be in the top layer, and what's on bottom is going to be on the bottom layer. So this leaf right here, we can see it on the mat. It is on top of the flower. And if we go over to the layers panel, it is on top of the flower as well. So how do we get that leaf petal to the bottom? Well, in, in Easy Cut Studio, all you have to do is click, hold, and drag, and you're going to notice this little slider, this black line here, and that's telling you where the position is going to be dropped if you let go of the mouse. So now we can see that the flower is now on top of the leaf here. So that's what that means. Now we're also going to take a look at a folder and inside the folder we have a G on there that means that item is a group and we can expand that folder using the little drop down arrows and we can sort of see what is inside of that folder. So obviously if we need to ungroup something uh, so that we can actually physically move the circle that's here in the in the middle of the flower is we, we're going to have to right click and ungroup and now you can see it has uh, left its folder and we now have two individual layers and as we can see that uh, even outside of the folder we can still uh, move these items on top or on bottom of the layer as well so I just moved that circle to the bottom of the flower I can click and drag move it back up to the top uh, very easily if I need it to be grouped again I can select both of the shapes here and I can go ahead and right click and go to group and now you'll see that it's in a folder again where I can use the down arrow and see what's in there. Now let's take a look at what the eyeball does. So uh, you're going to notice that the eyeball is there on every single layer to include uh, not only the group layer itself but the individual layers as well. So if you click the eyeball this is just the visibility. So if you do not want something to be cut you click the eyeball. If you want something to be cut, you will click the eyeball to make sure it's visible when you go and cut. You can also hide groups. So if I click this eyeball here, it hides the entire group. And I can click it again to bring it all back up. Now you're also going to notice we, we do have a, a lock feature. And if I go ahead and click it, that means I cannot move the flower from that position. It is stuck locked there in position and size uh, but I can click the leaf so if you're ever having trouble on selecting a certain item um, you may want to isolate it by selecting the lock on the shape that it keeps trying to get uh, when you are clicking on it but anyways that is uh, that's what the locks do and if we take a look down here if we select the group and we have the trash can simply that will delete that entire layer or group from the mat and it will no longer be there. Now of course you can always get it back by clicking the undo. So that's really the the layers panel there. It's it's designed for you to visually see what things are doing when it comes to designing your project, what's on top of one another and just to give you better organization in general. Um, I did forget to mention that you are able to rename things so you can call this uh, flower you can go ahead and click the OK button and you can see that the folder is now named flower so uh, another way for you to stay organized within EasyCut Studio